Good day, my viewers. Welcome once again to Study Made Simple Foundation. Uh, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Now, in this video, I want to be explaining how we can subtract a number basis. So, I have dealt with addition in the previous video. You can check that. Now, first of all, you know my usual thing. I have to let you know. It's a fact. You can add two numbers that are not in the same base. You must first ensure that they are in the same base by converting both of them to the same base. Now, these two numbers are in base 4. Thank God. But before we deal with this, let's look at our basic mathematics. Let's see what they taught us in primary school, elementary school. Let's see that. We, if we have 126 minus 87, how do we always subtract this in primary school? They will say 6 minus 7. They will say impossible. So we will have to come and borrow from here. So if we borrow one from here, this will become, this will remain one. Then we are going to have one here. The teacher will say add one to this and have 16. Whereas actually it is not one that we borrowed from here. We have borrowed 10. Why are we borrowing 10? Because we are operating in base 10. If you are dealing with base 10, you borrow 10. If you are dealing with base 2, you borrow 2. If you are dealing with base 5, you are dealing in base 5, you borrow 5. So whatever the base that you are dealing with, that's what you have to borrow. Now, we have borrowed 10 from here. That's what made it 16. Because 1 plus 6 cannot give us 16. So 10 plus 6 will give me 16. 16 minus 7 will give me 9. Again, 1 minus 8 is also impossible. I have to borrow from here. If I borrow from here, this remains 0, then 10. I have to borrow 10 also because I'm dealing in this 10. So 10 plus the original one that we have here becomes 11. 11 minus 8 will give me 3. So my answer here is 39. That is how we used to do it. But this is the secret behind what we used to do. Now, let's bring this sense back to this. So if we have 3... 1, 2, 0, base 4, minus 2, 3, 3, base 4. So, and we want to subtract this in base 4. First, 0 minus 3 is impossible. We have to borrow to this. Now, don't forget I said if you are dealing in base 4, you borrow 4. So, I will borrow from this. So, this remains 1. By the time I throw the one that I borrow from this, it becomes 4 here. So, 4 plus 0 will give me 4. 4 minus 3 is going to give me 1. Now, we have 1 left here. We have to still borrow. Borrow to this place. This remains 0. We borrow 1 to this place. It becomes 4 here. 4 plus 1, that will give me 5. Then 5 minus 3, that will give me 2. So we have 0 left here. 0 minus 3 is also impossible. I still have to borrow from here. This remains 2. By the time I throw the 1 to this place, it becomes 4. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 minus 2, that will give me 2. And uh, we have 2 here, we have 0 here. 2 minus 0, that will give me 2. So, and this is the end of the question. That means if you are given another question in other bases, so, and you have problem of borrowing, always borrow your base. If you are dealing in base 3, you borrow 3. If you are dealing in base 4, you borrow 4. So, that is how we apply it. That sense of primary school is what we applied here as well. Thank you for viewing this.